Hello guys, this is Marky from Afford the Tech and ngayong araw na ito, meron tayong package. Now, according sa isang online seller, this is an original Nokia 5800. But I doubt if it's really the original 5800 since the phone was released 2008, so that's 12 years ago. Well, the only way to find out is buksan natin itong package na to. Well, ito na siya. The Nokia 5800. Let's set aside the unit first. And then this white box. Okay. Meron siyang charger. Mukhang okay naman yung charger. And then there's a battery. Looks like... Uh, battery na wrapped I still remember back in the days ito yung first smartphone ko ng Nokia na touchscreen this is the first or one of the first smartphones na merong touchscreen capability back then noong 2008 something is wrong with the screen protector it's glittery well it looks like the 5800 But it doesn't feel like the 5800. Hmm. Let's take a look at the stylus. The stylus feels cheap. Okay, so it's 12 years ago since I last hold one, so I'm not sure if parehong pareho ng dante. And at the back. Meron siyang nakaindicate na made in Finland But I also doubt If it's really made in Finland Unless this was refurbished Or fixed And considered As a new one Now let's put this battery There Nice and snugly Let's put on the case The back cover Okay Snugly fit The quality is so-so and that glitter and the screen protector really okay natatanggal pala okay may improvement but there are scratches so parang plastic hindi siya glass as you can see tabi muna natin siya Now, here's the charger. Subukan natin siyang i-charge. And let's see kung gumagana siya. Okay, umilaw. Buti na lang. Well, kung di man sumindi, at least yung nabili kong bareta kanina, eh, magagamit ko pa. Pagay ko, kailangan muna nating iiwan ito para ma-charge siya kahit pa paano. Let's put this here for the meantime. Much, much, much later. Palagay ko, pwede na to yung charge niya, pero merong problema. As you can see sa upper right, dun sa camera niya, may bulge yung clear plastic. Parang screen protector pa na additional but I doubt kung screen protector pa to kasi medyo naka-embed siya sa mismo screen well I hope na screen protector nga lang siya let's check sa sides sobrang lambot niya guys if I recall correctly yung Nokia 5800 it's like a glass in front hindi siya ganito kalambot na parang clear soft plastic well as you can see sa upper right 
It's already peeling. Basically guys, we ruined the upper part of the screen. Anyways, since damage is already done, try na lang natin i-open para makita yung OS. Okay. Nagahanap siya na Wi-Fi connection. Gaba yun na connection. Yes. So far so good. Nakikita naman niya yung Wi-Fi natin. Unfortunately, nahirapan akong mag-connect. Uh, kahit correct yung password ng Wi-Fi natin, hindi niya tinatanggap. Now, let's go to the other applications. Para music store. Magre-request na naman siya ng connection. So, this is getting frustrating. Now, let's try to connect again. Input the password. Oh. I just need to use capital. And to no avail, hindi makonek ang phone sa Wi-Fi. Mm, let me fix that upper part. Meron na akong fix dyan. Nice. And select. There you go. Good as new. Now, let's try to look at the applications. Since na hindi natin makonek sa Wi-Fi, uh, maybe offline applications will do. Check natin. The camera. Okay. Nangihingi siya ng memory card. It's pretty familiar noong meron akong Nokia 5800. Parang similar, ha? I'm not saying it's completely uh, identical, pero parang similar siya dun sa Nokia 5800 before. Palagay ko, ang ginawa nila dito is yung mismo hardware niya or build niya is a clone, pero yung software related or ginaya nila sa original one. Kaya mukhang similar talaga. Okay, nakakakuha naman siya ng photo. May kabagalan nga lang. And yung touch interface niya, may sumpong. Now, let's try to off or take a picture using no flash. Kasi kanina, automatic may flash siya eh. Okay, working naman. Now, let's take a look at the gallery. Okay. Meron din siyang photos. Parang pre-installed photos to no nagbenta. Nilinis niya muna and kinalikot bago niya pinakage. Now, since na hindi natin siya makonect sa Wi-Fi, let's just find some application. Now, this is a game. Nakakapag-game pala siya and it looks pretty familiar dun sa original na Nokia 5800. Parang may ganitong games din siya. Now, I've tried to download music. Meron siyang micro USB. So, dated naman yung phone. And you can connect it to the laptop or PC to download some music. Meron naman siya. So, you can see it play. The speaker is loud. Unfortunately, I'm only using the internal memory. So, I think mga 10 songs lang ang available or pwede sa phone. Unfortunately, when I used the headset, hindi siya okay. Parang merong noise sa kanyang headphone jack. 
I've already tried two headphones, so parang may defect. So I'm not expecting it's good. So magagamit mo lang talaga yung phone as a music player sa kanyang loudspeaker. Now, the most important part of this is syempre the SIM card. Kung gumagana ba siya. Let's try to open it and insert a SIM card and see if it's working. Talagang kamukhang kamukha niya yung original na Nokia 5800. Magaling silang kumopia pero yung quality it's not at par or on par sa original. So let's insert the SIM card. Okay. Push. Push. Well, parang nanganganak lang pero paurong. Now it's fully inserted already. And let's close that and put the battery on again. And let's see what it can do. Sana gumana since uh, it's the most important thing in this phone. Call and text. Okay na walang data or Wi-Fi. To basically use it as a regular phone. Well, unfortunately I tried to but as you can see, naka-indicate offline. So that means hindi niya nare-read yung SIM card. I also tried another SIM card just to be sure. Similar case, hindi rin siya ma-open. And when you type or dial, as you can see, medyo hard touch siya. Well, the only use of this phone right now is for playing music and gaming, mini gaming. Yung mga pre-installed games sa phone na ito. Other than that, you can't even text or call or browse in this phone. It's basically a defective phone. Guys, if you liked my video, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Again, this is Marky from Afford the Tech. And good day, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.